Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, always. I usually don't take it for granted. By supporting me in this video, just do me a favor. Ensure you like the video. I will appreciate you so much for that like. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for that like. Now, Kenyans, Adani Group Company is now coming out exposing this fake deal that is in between William Samuel Ruto's government and their company. They have released a letter here. And according to the press release for immediate release from Adani Energy Solutions, they are now denouncing baseless accusation and threats that are now being mounted to them. On the same note, them coming out to defend themselves, I just want to read a certain article here. That, not even an article, the section of the letter. And you will be shocked. The section of this letter says that furthermore, we would like to caution those planning to participate in these demonstrations that such actions could have serious consequences. If these threats persist, we will have no choice but to reveal the names of government shareholders who have benefited from our invest investment. Additionally, we will also publish the name of individuals who have received substantial bribes from our company. That is, what the Adani Energy Solutions are coming out to talk about. Now, this is the thing that we are always telling you here, Kenyans, that since this government took over the office, there's no day they even advertised this such kind of tenders because they know they want to do it. The other day, I analyzed a video of Western Hotel linked to the first family, William Samuel Ruto. And we're being told that city tenders, city hotel tenders, the same note, you saw what happened with George Ruto. You saw what happened. So I think for me, it has reached a time that any tender of the government, it is these members of parliament who are doing it. So the Adani Energy Solution to come out to see that if this demonstration is going to persist, they are not going to hold on, but they will have no choice but to reveal the names of government shareholders who have benefited from their investments. And additionally, they are claiming that they will publish the names of individuals who have received substantial bribes from their company. There was a question also that we asked here in a certain video, long, about one month, where a certain CS, before William Ruto, dissolved his cabinet. Uh, his cabinet. There is a CS that was found with money, I don't in Dubai, millions of money. And we're being told he was being bribed so that he can give a certain country tender. And this tender is to benefit him also because he's being bribed and again he's going to have shares in this tender. So we are having politicians who are basically going for business, not the interest of the people. And that is why I want to tell you today, you must understand that the Kenya Kwanzaa government, they have a mission just to make money purely, not leadership. So Adani Energy Solution to come out to say that if this demonstration is not going to be stopped or is going to persist, but we have no option but to expose them. That is what the uh, Adani Energy Solution is trying to say. So this is the reason why William Ruto's government does not want any document to be leaked before the public. 
And that is why they never had a public participation. And if they had a public participation, atungefika mahali tumefika saa hii. Hmm? Traveling imekuwa paralyzed. Workers on me down tool everything. They are now demonstrating. So I think William Ruto must get it right. He must get it right. Or else things are not going to be on his way. Several reasons are going to make even him being like a president who does not understand the interest of the people. When you want to do something, you are elected with these people. And now when you are being requested uh, to, to have the pub, uh, public participation, you don't want, then what do you expect? What do you expect, Kenyans? That is the question. So this Adani thing is purely corruption and purely bribery. Where some individuals in this Kenya Kwanza government, they want to make money. They want to make money. Na kama ita wa ponyoka, ita wa uma sana because this deal was going to generate billions of money on their accounts. Billions of money on their accounts. And that is how they usually operate perfectly. To show that they have a good idea to reform the JKID. But in other words, they have another agenda. And this agenda, of course, is to make themselves rich, filthy rich, using an influence what they have in the offices. So I don't think, Kenyans, if it is a right priority for William Ruto to use this so-called Adani thing to benefit themselves, because you are being told even some money has already been released. But it's being released we don't understand whatever is inside the Adani group agreement. What is inside the, the paper? Then what can you say, Kenyans? So they want to push the government today to stop this demonstration or else the consequences and repercussions. Already the deal was signed. The deal was already signed. Imaneno naona hii ni PR tukande ya barabara. But ukweli Eh? Ukweli ni kwamba the deal was already been signed. Was already been signed. And so even if this is going to be rejected, we are being told the government of the day is going to pay. They are going to pay the damage. The so-called Adani groups are saying. So I think for me, the letter speaks loud. This was just purely corruption. And some individuals to benefit on themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.